Welcome to the Gamer Gents United podcast. I am one of your hosts, Teddy, and I have with me Sean, the first Teddy. ever Gamer Gents United podcast. L- let me go. tell you my bad. The premiere, <laughs> and uh, after yeah, the pilot, as some would say. After that, we have Nate. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm Nate. And then we have Eric. Yo. And uh, Sean, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about uh, our plans for this this thing? Okay, so Gamer Gents United podcast is a um, at first we're gonna do a bi-weekly podcast, just gonna drop every two weeks. Uh, we're gonna hope to get it in to a groove of like a weekly thing after so long, uh, <clears throat> and that's gonna go with like views and you know subscriber base and all of that, you know, accordingly. Uh, what we plan on doing is to continue this series and bring you a quality and fun podcast that encompasses entertainment varieties such as video games, movies, TV, books, comics, and anything that we find would be interesting or that you know is important for you guys to hear. Uh, it's all about what you guys like and what we think would be good for you guys to hear and what we find interesting so we're really hoping to continue this for a good good long while yeah i'm i'm super excited i've been wanting to do something like this for a long time so now we're going to give a short little uh introduction to ourselves anything we really want to i don't know let you guys know about ourselves i am you know my name's teddy I am a senior in high school. I work at Zaxby's, which is an amazing chicken restaurant. You chicken need to go there. It's nowhere It's nowhere in the north of... Uh, it's only in uh, the United States. It's only in, like, the south of the United States. It's from, like... I think it's Tennessee and down. It might be one more state up. I don't know. But uh, if, if you're anywhere near there, you need to try it because it's awesome. And uh, I, I started gaming when I was... Probably when I was like 8 or 10, I had a Game Boy Color and I played Super Mario Bros. on that. But the only time I really got a... The first time I got a console was probably when I was like 12. And I got a PlayStation 2 and Guitar Hero and Star Wars Battlefront 2. And that game... Oh, that game's so good. And uh, after that, probably a year or two later, I got a PS3. And freaking text sound. I got a PS3 and uh, I got into Black Ops and then um, single player games and then eventually I got a PC so I play lots of sorts of things PlayStation PC freaking Vita is awesome okay don't judge Vita's amazing you need to get one anyways that's about all, all right um, I'm Sean I uh, I'm a college student at the University of North Alabama I am in the pride of Dixie marching band I play tuba uh, but I play a <clears throat> large variety of Low brass instruments, got to represent right there, you and A. Uh, low brass instruments, I play high brass instruments and um, uh, small amount of percussion instruments. Uh, I'm a huge nerd. Been gaming since I was six years old, starting out with the, uh, oh lord, it was Mario Party like one and uh, the original Mario on, I think it was this. The Super Nintendo Mario, I think I started out with that one. Um, my PC gaming goes back to uh, Diablo 2. I will live and die by that game. One of the best games that has come out for PC. Much better than Diablo 3. Um, uh, I'm a huge Marvel nerd. I love Iron Man. Iron Man is the best. And I can tell you pretty much everything about Iron Man. Um, other than that, I, uh, I'm very violent, and um, I'm naturally good at video games, and Teddy gets angry at that. Yeah, it's, so, not, it's not fun. Um, I don't like it. I went to high school with Eric, and yeah. I met Nate about four years ago uh, on a Facebook website for Minecraft, and I was asking you to join his server, and that's how I know Nate. So yep, that's, that's right. About it. Best, best server hosting guy in the world. <laughs> oh, anyways, I, <laughs> I also forgot to say that I'm a huge uh, DC nerd, so DC Marvel. is better than Marvel. Just... <laughs> I <laughs> don't <laughs> well, Batman okay, okay, You gotta agree, DC makes good <laughs> shows and comics, and Marvel makes really good movies. So. Yeah. That one's 
What Agents of Shield is a fantastic. I show. I really do want to start watching that. So and it beats out like half the DC shows. What Arrow? Now, Arrow, Arrow beats. Fanta- I said yeah. half. Oh, okay, said okay. Half. <laughs> Arrow is fantastic. That's good. Nate, your turn. Nate. So I'm Nate. Um. Hi Nate. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to AA. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, um, I'm a big gamer, PC gamer mostly. Um, I got into gaming way back when, when me and my brother got a Sega Genesis. Uh, we played like Power Rangers and stuff on there. But uh, then we got the N64, and then of course we got into the PC. Uh, I went over to a friend's house. My first PC game, well, of course, was like learning software stuff. But then uh, I went over to my friend's house, and uh, we played played Age of Empires, and I got hooked instantly. Um, I love the strategy games, but uh, now, uh, right now, I've played, uh, like I said, N64, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. I own a PlayStation 4. Um, I build my own PCs. I've built a lot of PCs myself, but uh, I built my you own PC. So, I, yeah, I did. I did. So I'll help anybody build their PC. I like doing that. But um, yeah, but I play PC a lot more now. Um, I'm a PC gamer, you could say. But um, yeah, I also own my own house, pay my own bills, and I work for a school district right now um, as their IT guy. And uh, big into wrestling, not WWE wrestling. Not um, wrestling. Not wrestling. It's the (laughs) Olympic wrestling stuff. Um, Mm -hmm. I did that since I was pre-pre-preschool. My dad took me to a tournament, and I got hooked on it, and been doing it through when I was young all the way up through high school, wrestling college for two years, and then now I coach for uh, the school that I work at now. But, but yep, I have a geek, nerd, slash jock side of me. He's also very short. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> they don't need to know that. Nate is exceptionally short. Huh. But, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> But all right, that's enough about me. Let's learn about Eric. All right, my name's Eric, obviously, okay. and um, I started I started gaming when I was a uh, when I was really young. Um, I moved into this old, dirty, nasty house, and um, there was a Super Nintendo in the in one of the closets, and it had it, it had like this really bad wrestling game that my mom threw away because she didn't she didn't like it. It was too violent. And also, yeah, it, was it was wrestling. It was WWE. Uh, I think it's better. That's right. Um, <laughs> so like, it was a weird way. And um, also, there was also a Donkey Kong Country and um, Super Mario Bros. for the Super Nintendo. And that, that was the, fr- the first games that actually got me into gaming. And since then, I've always been interested in it. And I got, in, I got into... PC gaming very early as well, playing Tomb Raider and um, Myth, which, which is a game made by Bungie, who made who makes Halo, and uh, which is a strategy Destiny. game. Myth is a strategy game. Destiny. Yeah, and Destiny. <laughs> yeah, they made Destiny. Um, I'm currently a college student at Ivy Tech, Community College, and um, that's that's nothing. Else. I don't. There's nothing else that's much special about me. All right, I read, awesome. I read, I read, You're a ginger with no soul. I'm a ginger. That's I'm a ginger, true. Yeah. I'm a half ginger, so I have half a soul. <laughs> so, so um, as good as much as no soul. Yeah. So <laughs> supernatural. I think, I think that's about good with the introductions. Um, now I think we're gonna go to the section where we're talking about what we've been playing lately, and I personally have been really, really, really enjoying Rogue Legacy for the. Vita and PS4 and PS3. It's also for PC, you know, if you want to play it there. But uh, <laughs> it's really fun. It's I've gotten to like level 73 in like a week, which isn't which isn't that great, but it's it's really really fun. And uh, me and Eric have also been playing a little bit of uh, Diablo 3 on the yeah, PS4. No life. Yeah. Other than that, I don't know. I played The Last of Us Remastered a lot pretty recently, but not mm-hmm. not super good recently. Yeah, the multiplayer is really fun. Underrated. Uh, I have personally been playing Wolfenstein on the PlayStation 4, Wolfenstein The New Order, and I, it's a fantastic game. I highly recommend it. I would give it a 9 out of 10 
for um, just being a rewarding and just satisfying game. So nice. I I've personally, nothing. I'd personally um, been playing EQ two EverQuest two. Um, I'm getting big into that. I love EverQuest two. Mm-hmm. Yep, you, you can you can hate because it's EverQuest two and everybody loves WoW. Whatever, blah blah blah. <laughs> But um, I'm a big Sony EverQuest 2 player. Um, I just got my 10-year reward on there, so I've owned an account for 10 years on EverQuest 2. But, uh, yeah, I'm into that, and I'm very excited about, uh, of course, (laughs) Destiny that's coming out on PS4. (laughs) uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm guessing we'll be talking about that later on. Let's put it this way. That's like half of the show. I have not played a game and been satisfied with it because yes. of Destiny. Yes. Every other game I played is just garbage because I just want to play game. Destiny. I want it. That's also, why I've been also, trying. Guys, also, guys, I'm I'm waiting for EverQuest Next coming out, and I'll be talking about that later. But I will I'm be ready super, for that too. I'm yeah, super excited that. for EverQuest it's Next. On, it's coming on the PS4 as well. It is. Yeah, it's coming, on, it's it coming is. on the PS4, but I will be playing for playing with PC. That's where I will be playing it. Me and Eric might be on PS4. I don't know. I might be Unless Eric has a good PC. I'm if he Eric, has a good PC, PC, we'll be on PC. But... Yeah, it is next year, so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got a full year to get it going until that's beta true. comes out. So, anyways, Eric, what have you been playing? Um, I've been Diablo 4. Three. Four. <laughs> Diablo 4. <laughs> <laughs> New yeah, kid stuff. Um, PS4. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of uh, Diablo 3 with Teddy here, and. Um, on the side, I'd play. I can't beat. I can't beat uh, Nate's ten years on EverQuest too. But I've, I've been playing well. Netscape for a good <laughs> seven years now. I've got ten years on WoW. Yeah. See, I I I've been playing MMOs that long, but you scrub a week. Nate, got, let's get on our level. I got ten years being alive. <laughs> You're older than it. us. Yeah, really. I'm like seven. You're in your twenties. I would have started at seven. <laughs> I would have started playing WoW at seven. <laughs> I did. I started when I was like nine. My gosh. I, I really do wish I had gotten I into WoW. I started when earlier. I was like 12 years old. Wait, man. 13. 13 years yeah. old. I'm jealous. Because I really do <laughs> wish I had started earlier. Mm-hmm. I would have. I don't know. I jumped on WoW like a year ago. And I played a decent amount. Me and Eric both played a, was, a bunch. But it was yeah. fun. But it's just. It's clearly very, right, very mean, old. Dated. Yeah. I mean. Grindy. It was really fun, though. I got to like. Grindy, level 49 yeah. or something. But, uh, has, has anybody been watching anything of interest? I've been watching a bunch of freaking cartoons, like Korra, Full Metal Alchemist, and, uh, what was the other one? Um, Ruby. Ruby's really good. It's by Rooster Teeth, guys. I've been, uh, re-watching Doctor Who because I want to kind of catch up yes. all back up to yeah. that. And um, because I, I know that I knew the new episode just came out, so no spoilers. I haven't I seen it yet either. I'm the only, I think I I'm want, the only one here that's seen I, it. I yeah. got I got I got two more seasons to go through. I've seen it. Really. Cameo. <laughs> What's your problem? What? That's all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I have I personally uh, I rewatched uh I think a hundred episodes of Pokemon on Netflix with my girlfriend. Dang. Nice. The original. <laughs> <Indigo> <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to start Attack on Titan soon. Oh, yes, so, that's so, so good. good. That, and so I'm going to start good. Parks and Rec soon. And I've heard that it's fantastic. I've heard that's good, too. Chris Pratt is a fantastic actor. Yeah. So. I'll just watch anything with Chris Pratt in it after going to yeah, the office. You guys going to watch The Office? Uh, yes! Oh, Nate, good, good Nate, I've rewatched that show like five times. I, I've watched all seasons of The Office. Yes, I've seasons. watched all of it like five times. Legitimately. If I don't have a show, I'm just like, oh, I guess I'll rewatch The Office again. And exactly. I'm done in like a week. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, has everyone, yeah. is that it for what you guys have been watching? Did you say, Eric? Yeah. Um, I gotta catch up on Supernatural. Yes, yeah, I, I gotta catch up. I got the last season to watch. Is, so. it's, it should be. It re- recently ended, I believe, right? Yeah, it should be on Netflix soon. Like in the next. It, wait, months, is right? it over? Is it over? No, over? No, if no, it's no, over, no, no, oh, they got no. renewed for a new season. Come that would have been awesome because then I would have been able to watch it straight through and binge watch it. Is coming, <laughs> it's coming soon. Because I haven't yeah. seen any of it. But... <laughs> you know what? Uh... No spoilers. <laughs> anyways, uh, anything else, Eric? You've been watching? Um, Cora finale. So good. I heard, I heard that was so good. It was amazing. Like I, I went on a rant on it on right Twitter there. about right how there. it was, was better. Fun. 
I say that it's been better, it better. is better than any like TV episode or even movie I've seen in the past year. I was really? so happy with it. it Guardians was, of the Galaxy. I honestly thought it was better, but just because of like you know building up Avatar for like a year and there was like nostalgia from How the Last you? Airbender and all this, but How Guardians was really really good. It was amazing. Hey, hey, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we'll Guardians talk about that later. Hey, Eric, Eric, Guardians oh, of the later. Galaxy. Yeah, but um, they, so anyone been is that up for TVs for shows watching yeah. movies? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We've all seen Guardians, but Nate. No, so uh, so it, we'll uh, we'll be discussing that a little bit later. So spoilers ahead of time. He'll just have to you know. I might just have out. to leave the room for yeah. ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so has anyone yeah. been reading anything? Guardians mm-hmm. of the Galaxy Volume One, Marvel Now. Oh wow! Really, good. really good. That's it's fantastic. So good. I I got it. I borrowed it from a friend because I don't Star buy Marvel Lord comics. But was his own books or series before Guardians of the Galaxy? That that sounds awesome. But knowledge uh, from my dad. Marvel comics. Just a little bit of knowledge for everyone out there trying to look into deciding whether they want to read Marvel or DC. Marvel comics are about half as big for twice the price. The trades. I have Death of the Family, which is twenty five dollars. And they're, it's twice as big as the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're still really good, though. They're all really good to read. but Better quality. <clears throat> but, anyways. <laughs> any books? I did like anyone? It, though. Books. Anybody reading novels? No, 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 I, didn't read, I read the uh, Avatar comics, but they're comics. I want to read those. I have personally been reading the uh, Lord of the Rings Twin Towers. Oh my gosh, it's I want to read Lord of the movie. Rings. I finished uh, The Hobbit the other day and the first book the other day. So I was going to order them on Amazon, but I don't have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> Download a PDF. Uh, I don't like reading don't like on my computer. Hobbit books. I don't even read digital comics. I can't even read digital comics. I've been reading the new lore of EverQuest Next. Is that <laughs> Does that no, count? it doesn't count, Nate. Yeah, I, read the, I actually read the whole page of Lord for RuneScape. I mean, if that amounts to anything. The there's whole one, page. One page! The there's whole one page! page. Of Holy crap. Okay. It's That's one page because you scroll, scroll down. Yeah, and it's just like two scrolls because RuneScape sucks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We got haters in the building? I think I we all, so except much. for Eric, agree with that. <clears throat> See, okay, the only reason that I okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna hate. getting better. So. I'm not going to hate so much because that was my first MMO. That I, I really did. Yeah, I played it too. I played it. I smacked down on some WoW. <laughs> <laughs> RuneScape was some bullshit compared to that. So, well, yeah, of course. Straight RuneScape, up. RuneScape with some BS compared to... EverQuest. A- anything, EverQuest really. Too. The original EverQuest. <laughs> compared to, like, Club Penguin, it's just crap. <laughs> Roblox, come on. Roblox. Game of the Year 2014, RuneScape. Roblox. All right, so anybody else been reading anything interesting? Other than no, me? not really. Because I read all the time. Comics. Sorry. I'd rather watch TV shows and movies. I read Comics. books because I'm the smart individual. Okay. Well, then. Whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> so I have a topic here that I uh, that I put on here like yesterday. So I don't know if you guys might have uh, seen it or not. But I want to know everyone's most anticipated game of 2014. Destiny. This year. Destiny. This year. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll just fall over in your seat. But, uh... It's destiny for everyone ever. Is it though? Okay, I, I'm, I'm probably I'm probably gonna say destiny. But if EverQuest next was What's coming out this year, year yeah. I'll say EverQuest next. Mine. But no, destiny. I was probably. Mine is Destiny, but it's really close to a lot of other games. But at the same time, I know Destiny has way more replay value than a lot of them. You're excited for other games, but they're not yeah. coming out this year. No, there's like, I have Uncharted. I have two or three coming out this year that I'm super. Oh, Uncharted, dude! I I will <laughs> uh, I would kill someone for that. Like if I knew I don't even know enough people that are like as excited about that game as me. Like if I did, My I would have a whole freaking podcast of just talking about Uncharted. Just my an girlfriend. extra one. I'll, I'll hook you up with my girlfriend to talk about that. So good. She is the biggest Uncharted fan. Cannot she loves wait. I, oh. So much. Like, like uh, oh my god. When I see those uh, TV Sony ads on uh, YouTube, <laughs> TV <laughs> ads on YouTube, that's not what I meant. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> when I see them, I don't even mind watching them because at the end it just shows Drake, you know, putting his clip on his pistol and walking away. I'm just like, yes, give that to me now. <laughs> but, uh,. Uh, me for this year, it's it's got to be Destiny. Just of course, it's of coming the, out in two weeks, and we are yeah. ready. Just because right, of the replay body. value and the and the 
I played the so much PvP. The longevity of the game. Yeah, and in the in the beta, I played so much PvP, and it was it was really good. But, so for those of you who live under a rock and don't know what Destiny is, Destiny is a game, and it is a open shared open world shooter that is coming out for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360, and it is rumored to come out later uh, in PC, and I think it's March of 2015 it's rumored for. Mm -hmm. But it is a, um, it's a futuristic Halo-esque open world game, and it's, it's just it's so fantastic. There's no words to describe how just beautiful that game is. Also, uh, I want to talk about a little bit of Destiny hype real quick. Has anyone else picked up on that um, the dragon in the opener or in the uh, the Venus trailer? Mm -mm. No. I don't see a dragon. No. There is a it scopes and it zooms in on the moon, and there is a dragon that flies by, and it is rumored that there is going to be dragons in Destiny. Oh, I cannot Very, wait. I have, I have, I have like two different Destiny topics on here, so we'll definitely get to that. And I guess three if you count most anticipated game. But, and we'll uh, talk about it with extra time because Destiny is the best. Yeah, and. Uh, I guess for me, it, it, it's Destiny for me, but in a very, very close second is Assassin's Creed Unity. Like, the more I see about that game, the better it looks. Like, they're but putting the in... the problem is that there's less hype right now about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. See, Destiny has so much hype yeah. right now, and everyone... Pl like, you play the beta, and you're just like, oh my god, I'm so freaking yeah. ready for this game, I want to play it! It's and just... you played it, and there's more videos releasing, and they got the pre-order stuff, and it's just yeah. like, oh my god, it's gonna happen. Like right now, and that's why yeah. it's super hyped up right that's now. Especially. It is a fantastic game, and it deserves all the hype. Mm -hmm. But it's just being so close to it. Of course, we're going to be anticipating it yeah. so right. much more right now. Especially if you like their Facebook page, they put like just videos up there to hype you up. It's they put everything there. They put T-shirts, and you're just like, ah, oh, Destiny. I want a T-shirt. I really do. But uh, Unity, man, the more stuff they put out about it, the better it looks. They're like putting in fantastic. RPG elements into it, like with the gear and the skills. Like, and it and isn't there like a co-op mode? Yeah, yeah. it's it's completely. They, but it's a bummer that they took out the competitive part. Yeah, because the competitive I, actually is really cool. I really cool. liked the competitive. Yeah, it really is like, cool. Like about it. I'm but, sure they have the ability to put that in later, though. Yeah, probably. But the um, the co-op is the co-op does look really cool too. Yeah, too. One of the developers said they were like really focusing on just like co-op gameplay now. Yeah, well they need to step it up from their Black Flag gameplay. Their gameplay was <laughs> subpar. Dude, Black Flag gameplay is the best gameplay of the series. Like, of course, it's the it's, yeah. uh, Of course, it's the most modern game, but it's subpar because it's a lot of repetitive motions. If you think about it. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, AC is always able. repetitive. The cool thing, the selling point was being able to go around on a ship. Yeah, and being able to blow shit up, but the shitty part about it was you have to whale, you have to go whaling and harpoon whales. <laughs> that's cool and all for the first like two times, but then it kind of just gets old. And then like tailing a ship, they give you that such was... ridiculous. It's so difficult. It's cool, but then it just becomes just like ridiculously Four. difficult and annoying. And <laughs> it's just. I am a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed series for the story. I did not yeah, like I... the story of Four. So there I'm not was, a big fan of it, and I heard the story was garbage. It was bad. I did not enjoy it. Like and they I need love to, pirates. They need to get back to the roots of Templars versus Assassins. Like that's it. That's all I care about. That's all I want. But I think Unity will do that. But that's also why I'm not going to be getting Rogue because Rogue looks all about Templars, and I really don't care. <laughs> but okay, Sean, most anticipated game. I think we might know what it is. It is definitely going to be Miss Pac-Man uh, 2015. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's Destiny by a landslide. Destiny is I'm so hyped for it. I uh, I just I masturbate to the loading screen every night because that's how much that's I love Destiny. Problem. That's a personal it's a problem. serious problem. It's an addiction. I have an addiction. You need to keep that to yourself. I played the beta, and I literally I just ran around and just harvested glimmer glitter. Is it glitter or glimmer? It's, it's glimmer. glimmer. It's glimmer. It's um shawarma. I harvested shawarma so much, and it just I spent so many hours on that game doing the same things, and it was more right. enjoyable to me than playing League of Legends or Minecraft or Wolfenstein. I mean, and I played through Wolfenstein before Destiny. It was just like, oh my god, next gen so fucking good. But then it's just like <laughs> Destiny was like my baby. Oh my god, it was my so life good. force. Like literally, <laughs> life force. Destiny in the video game world is what bacon in the food world is to me. Amen. <laughs> 
environment. That's, that's, so. that's a good, that's a good comparison that's right there, there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nate pulls out his drink. <laughs> but, uh, Nate, Margarita, by the way. So, I yes. assume it's the same for you, Nate? Um, yeah, even though, you know, I'm a big PC gamer, I do have the PS4. I would say, yeah, Destiny is probably the most anticipated game so far All that right. I know of. All right. So, I have not much to say about it. I did play a little bit on beta. Didn't have much time, though. Yeah. Uh, but, Eric? All right. So, Eric? obviously, RuneScape, no. <laughs> <laughs> RuneScape. The new um, RuneScape update. Yeah, the new quest, man. Uh, um, no, Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh yeah, Grand Theft Auto Five PS4. Hmm. So next in. Um, you know, Destiny, of course. Um, I just, I just love how like social it is. You can go in the hub, and there's just random people there you can walk up to and just dance with <laughs> and stuff. Or you're you're going through the campaign or the well the, you can just go into the world, the PVM, and you to see random people helping you with uh, world events and. And quests and stuff. It's just really cool how social it is. Cool. I'm, we're all very, very excited. So before we move on to Sean's first to first topic of the night, just want to do a quick little plug for my uh, Twitch stream. It's called Twitch slash TBC at Games. And uh, plug. yeah, it's just a little plug. I uh, I set up the freaking OBS scene and I set up um, the Twitch channel and I am so excited because I'm gonna be moving to Nashville where I have like 25 upload speed. So I am, I'm very ready, and I'm gonna be streaming that every weeknight for at least two hours every weeknight. So uh, you know, go there, go there and uh, check us out, and you, I'll be playing with all these guys. So it, it's basically just us. So. Yep. All right, Sean, what you got? All right, so um, one of the things I want to talk about right now is uh, World of Warcraft and Robin Williams. Robin Williams recently passed away. It's a very tragic event, um, yeah. but. One of the things that World of Warcraft is very well known for doing and renowned for is immortalizing individuals in the video game. Um, they've had several people that were terminally ill and through Make-A-Wish Foundation were immortalized in World of Warcraft and even through just hearing about them they you know, made characters of them or took their characters and made them NPCs. So uh, some of you may not know but Robin Williams was a avid, he was a huge video game player, and he was very big into World of Warcraft. Uh, his daughter is named Zelda because he was yeah. very big in the Legend of Zelda series. But um, he played World of Warcraft, and he said it was. He actually said that it was like an addiction. Um, but in honor of Robin Williams, they are putting an NPC called Robin, the Entertainer, and the NPC model is going to be a genie-esque model and. Um, Links will be in the description for that. Um, I personally think that it's a fantastic tribute, and it's just something really, really, really sincere for someone who deserved more than, you know, that. What happened That's to him. him. Yeah. 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 I, so. I saw the genie model. It looks, it looks really cool. That'll be that'll be cool. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm I'm looking forward to look at yeah. that here. Yeah, I love I love that they're doing that for him. As a uh, for any of you um, WoW nerds, it is the same model as a um, as one of the bosses from Mr. Pandaria. So it's uh, one of the Thunderlord bosses, I believe. So. Or the model there. Yeah, to be honest, I really didn't see too many of Robin Williams' movies because I'm I'm kind of the baby of the group. <laughs> so I, I really haven't seen many of them, but I saw Aladdin, I saw Flubber, so I I did I didn't know about him but I wasn't Flubber. I wasn't Flubber as I watched his stand up that's how much I enjoyed Robin Williams. I watched his comedy stand ups from when he was a lot younger. When he had brown hair. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't Naturally as... brown hair. I was actually just watching one of those and Yeah. I watched one yesterday. So, you know, Red, God rest his soul. He was a fantastic actor and a fantastic comedian and a beautiful soul. He had fantastic philosophical outlooks on life and um, a lot of energy. Best of, of energy. wishes to his family. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All right. Nate, you got you got something you got something going on? You got a topic? Well, 
What, what, what do we want? Sucking ducks? What are we doing? <laughs> Sucking ducks. <laughs> I, anyways. Um, no, I don't know. I've been... Oh, I don't know. I could talk about EQ2, EQ Next Live, and all that stuff. Sony Live and stuff like that. Of course, Sony was... Uh, Sony Live was last week. And uh, they came out with a lot, of, a lot of cool new updates on the new EverQuest, EverQuest 2, EverQuest Next Landmark, and EverQuest Next. And... Um, uh, we we can link some of those some of those videos in there too. Um, I can share them out and stuff like that. But uh, how they're influencing their combat and stuff like that, and you know they're doing like I don't know Rift. I don't know if you've ever played Rift before, but they're doing some sort of multi-class thing to it. But it's not like Rift. It's not like you can be any class you want. It's it's pertained to one certain thing. And I and I like the way you know. Like they're they're going with the art style. It's not you know it's something new, and yeah. you know Ever, EverQuest Next, and EverQuest Next Landmark is so far right. It's in beta. EverQuest Next Landmark is in beta right now. I'm actually right now playing it. I've been putzing with it right now. But <laughs> but um, no, I, I'm I'm super excited with that, and uh, I I would definitely check out EverQuest Next EverQuest Next Landmark and Sony. Live, what they introduced. So to, yeah, that's about uh, it. To chime in on SOE Live, I watched a bunch of stuff on that, but for a different reason. I what I reason? I kind of enjoy a game called DC Universe Online, <laughs> which isn't that great of a game, I'll admit. But it's DC Universe. It, you're in DC Universe. You get to like yeah. be with Batman and like fight with I, the Teen I Titans. Took, I it's think awesome. it took me a week. To actually get, you know, level cap. Think of that game. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not very you many know, people like it. It's it, a very select crowd, but I, and, I do like. For it. me to get into a new MMO since I've been with EverQuest, yeah, for ever, yeah, for ten years now, um, is pretty hard. So yeah, I don't I got know. you. But I, uh, I really like, really like how Ever EverQuest Next looks. The engine just looks. And the art style in general just looks really cool. Yeah, the art yeah, style looks really awesome. I'll admit. Uh, we'll we'll definitely be playing that when it comes out. But Eric yeah. doesn't have that great of a computer, so me and him might be playing on PS4, but Nate and Sean might be on PC. So. Uh, no, it's not on my. Yeah, it, we'll Nate's gonna be on PC. I will be, I will be on PC. PC. I will be on PC as well. Okay, I'm a PC okay. nerd. All right. Through and through because yeah, I'm not wait. a little bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I go out and make my let's money. Not, let's not be hating. Sorry. Let's not be hating on that. consoles. You know, the PS4 that sold 10 million in nine months, the fastest selling console of all time. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but I go out and make my money. I donate plasma twice a week. So I don't want to hear anything, Eric, about not having money. Oh, I mean, it's kind of hard to make Kill him. Anyway. Like, Get one! You can go donate plasma. <laughs> For almost two hundred dollars a month. So, anybody mm. want to go to Comic Con next year? Mm. Yeah, but I mean, it's I, not I gonna mean, happen. But I don't have money. Yeah, I really, I want to go to Comic Con or PAX. All these video games, <laughs> and I gotta buy them. So. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, I really I do want to go though. And I can buy new tennis shoes, and it costs me like sixty-five bucks. So. <laughs> Stupid wow. tennis shoes. You're going to buy a wrong pair of tennis shoes somewhere wrong. I think the, I've think had play, play against store buddy. That's the way to go, dude. I have limited options. I wear sixteen four E's. I can't buy random shoes from the you know what? Dang, dude. Don't have your feet so big. <laughs> Problem <laughs> solved. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Problem solved. Don't no. have your feet so big. <laughs> Don't have big feet. Oh, Don't oh, have magically feet. have small feet now. Here, let me just pass this shrink ray over to you. <laughs> so, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anything you want to talk about? I think the problem with um, going to like Comic Con or like stuff like that like, requires like quite a bit of money. Is that 2015 is going to be like a big year for gamers? So many games are coming out, mm -hmm. and this year as so well, man. Games. This year as well, yeah. So everyone's wallets are going to be pretty light <laughs> next year. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, if you gotta My build a new song. computer and <laughs> yeah, exactly. Teddy needs to build a new computer. I do and... not. I need a new motherboard and a new CPU, and that's it. I have There's, the same graphics card as you. 
<laughs> Gosh. You need to build a new computer. Why? <laughs> I'm not throwing away a perfectly good graphics card. Man. No, I'm not either. I'm just upgrading. <laughs> <laughs> when I get money. Anyways. Eric, do you want to talk about anything? Um, yeah. Water. Let's see. Um, so I think, I think this is at the uh, PlayStation thing as well. Um, they had a, they show they showcased a, an MMO called Wild, where you could be like a ton of different animals or something. Yeah, I have not seen that. It's it's from right. the Gamescom conference. A lot of this this is gonna be coming out on yeah. this is a uh, podcast is gonna be coming out on September first. But a lot of it we're recording it on like a, I don't even know what day is it. What freaking Sunday. day is it? Sunday. 24th. Oh, Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday, guys. We're recording it on Sunday. So uh, Sunday. Th- like. I think it's a week before, so, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a week before. So we're covering a lot of the stuff from Gamescom, because it's kind of recent. Yeah. So, uh, Wild looks but Yeah, awesome. Wild, it looks interesting, it's like a big open world place, but you can, like, play as some weird stuff, so, yeah. I think that'll be interesting. They didn't, um, th- they didn't say much about it, they just yeah, sort of said, okay. this is, is our new, <laughs> yeah, they said it's an MMO, this is what we've been working on, and keep in mind all the creatures you see are playable. And yeah. then they showed a trailer, which was kind of just like uh, prehistoric native like people running mm-hmm. around with bows, with like Abraham. sheep, and there was like a skeleton guy following him, and <laughs> it, and then there was a there was like a fifty foot woman, and it, it, oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but it looks interesting. It's... Definitely looks interesting. Um, another another important topic I had here is um, the Twitch policies that they've been bro, deal- dealing with. Bro, you What's going on with that? Yeah, the, um, the recorded streams or any anything that gets set, put into your archives. Yeah. Um, they if they have copyrighted material like a song or something, it gets you to know the audio is stripped from it completely. And so the video. people are going to be able to play music on there now. You can, can play music, but it won't be archived. Yeah, the highlight of it, or like the recording of it, it won't have any sound. Yeah, it's weird. That's not so, cool. So like if I went to go to Teddy's channel and looked at one of his past streams, it's just no, nothing, no, yeah. no audio. Hmm. It's Probably um, because there was music. It's <laughs> interesting, their policy. I, I don't... Because I mean, I don't. I mean, I know not a lot of people look at those. Yeah. But some they're there. Yeah, I they're there. I watch nice. past broadcasts from people a lot of the times actually because, like, a lot of streamers are. Now, are they? Are you going to be able to do like, I don't know, sponsor, um, or copyright? You know, this is so and so who sings it and blah 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 in their description. They're going to get with buy with it, right. or they just can't have music period on their live streaming. Well, I mean, on, on their live streaming recording, they might I mean, be able to do that. Put up a recording. If they get permission or something, or if they have like some sort of. Yeah, they they might be able to. Yeah. It just the it's the system different. right now, I don't think will do that. Yeah. But maybe they'll update it to do that. Yeah. So, uh, guys, I think it's time to talk a little bit about Destiny. We'll save that one to the end because it's gonna be the longest. Probably. All right, all right. Well, I'm my obviously. I have um, a. Well, sh- I I got I got my topic here. I I have so many. I have like ten or twelve. Um, this is a really short one. I just want to throw out that uh, PS4 has sold ten million units in nine months, which is the fastest selling console of all time. Ever. And, yeah, of all time. It's it's really cool. Impressive. Yeah, it's very impressive, and it's and apparently compared to Xbox One sales, it's almost a two to one ratio, which mm. is really which is, that yeah, big. it's crazy. Yep. And um, they interviewed Sony. Uh, I don't I don't know his title, but they interviewed uh, Shuhei Yoshida about it, and he said that they were actually concerned because they weren't sure what they were doing that made them sell this fast, and they mm. really want to know what it is that they're doing so that they can keep doing it. I, I honestly think it's that one time in E3 where they where they just took advantage of their um, 
they had the second, they had it after Xbox, so they just. I think what it was was that Xbox received such bad flack yeah. with what they were going to be like. Oh, your thing's going to like monitor you all times and paying all this money and all this, right. all these bad policies. And I think they got so much flack that everyone was just like turned to P- or uh, Sony and just threw their money at them. Yeah, right. exactly. That's, That's probably what it was. So yeah. you know there are, and this is a lesser known thing, but. Xbox has restrictions to uh, their game development and like the power, the, the ability to use the Xbox One's power mm-hmm. because of the Kinect requirement on the games, and um, that makes the, the PlayStation Four a stronger model in its own in its own word. There, I mean, the PlayStation is a little bit stronger of a model. It has a little bit higher in specs, but mm-hmm. it's not you know it's not. it's not significant. It's not leaps and bounds, but the restriction. Which is going to be lifted on uh, more upcoming games, uh, <clears throat> but it, that's just that's just a downfall. It's something they yeah. they are just killing themselves with. I mean, they're they're falling short of their potential for the. So. Yeah. Also, I heard from a lot of developers. Well, no, yeah, I heard from a lot of developers like personally. Like I called them up on the phone. No, <laughs> I I read a bunch of articles that were uh, talking about how I especially one read one from Blizzard that say that the PS4 architecture is just easier to update and easier to develop for. So, like, apparently with Diablo 3, they're going to have um, updates, like, almost exactly with the PC version. Like, when a PC mm-hmm. version comes out, they're going to update the PS4 one really, really quickly after it because PS4 is mm-hmm. just easier to develop for. So that's that's one of the reasons for sure. But... At the same time, it's it's really it really is just that E three conference. They just they just own yeah. It. So I think it's just the play style too of the games mm. and the actual games that are coming out. To awesome, be totally yeah. honest with you, well, that, you can't be really fair with that because there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of exclusives other than yeah. like you know, the Order eighteen eighty six, really Halo, not. Infamous, Second Son. You know, there's not a lot of that's exclusives. not a lot of I mean, exactly. But then you but then you got to look at the past games what came out too and what they're going to be coming out later on in the you know Kingdom Hearts I don't know if anybody else yeah. has played Kingdom Hearts yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's true that's a, that, that's, that's a really good point strictly PlayStation yeah but um, I mean one of the biggest series which is an exclusive to Xbox is Halo and Halo is one of the yeah. highest uh, pulling factors for Xbox it's literally a lot of the reason that a lot of people have Xbox Ones and Xbox 360s is because they wanted to play Halo yeah, um, yeah. Is there other, and they're not coming out with a new Halo game, are they? Yes, they are. Yeah. They're coming out with they remastered are. Halo series. For like 20 years. Yeah, they're coming out with all the Halos, all of them. Yeah. But, I mean, they have their ups and downs, but Halo is the biggest pool out of all of the exclusives for both parties. I mean, God of War is fantastic. I, yeah. I personally love God of War series. Yeah, Kingdom too. Hearts is fantastic, but there's more people out there that, you know, because Halo was before all of this. Halo was before the time of God of War and Kingdom Hearts, so they've got that little special place of early on Xbox gamers that are like, oh my god, because the Xbox was so much better than a PlayStation 1. It was yeah. so much better. Oh, yeah. And the but Xbox that, was that, their first but, edition of it, so... Yeah, but, th- but that big leap from PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2... Kind of just Which was fantastic, but the Xbox yeah. was up there with it. I mean, the Xbox and yeah. PlayStation 2 were on level with each other. The honestly. PS2 outsold the Xbox. By oh, yeah, a lot, but, but. but there was not like a lot of restrictions for yeah. either party. I mean, they were pretty much the same. It was literally just nickels and dimes for which games you wanted to play. Yeah, but uh, the when it comes to pure number of exclusives... Sony does have more, and they do have more yeah. first-party studios. Yeah. But you're right; there there are a lot of people that just want to play Halo. Like you and know, our friend Ryan. Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan. He was really, really tempted to just sell his PS4 and get the Xbox One for the Master Chief Collection. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. thing that convinced him to stay: Destiny. Such a good game. Bungie. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but uh. But, Which is ironic because it's yeah. Same yeah, or, but uh. For someone that's like been with the PlayStation forever, I really noticed there are a lot of good. There's a lot of good exclusives coming, but oh, yeah. all I need in my life is Uncharted. So, or Destiny for now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> until we until we destroy the uh, Vault of Glass. So. <laughs> yeah, that vault. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, let's continue. 
Yeah, go ahead. We uh we got like 20, 30 minutes left, so we might when that it comes back long? around. To, yeah, yeah, dude. Holy when crap. when it comes back around, we'll have uh when it comes back around to me, I can start the destiny conversation. Okay. Um, um I want to talk about Warframe. Hmm. Warframe, Warframe is such an underrated game, and if you want to get real nitty gritty, uh, it's a point and shooter just like every other game that's you know Destiny is a point and shoot. The only difference is with Warframe, it's not really open world. But for those of you who don't know what open or Warframe is, it's a uh, it's a first person shooter. It's an instance first person shooter. You go in with you know either solo or with a few people into a little instance off area and you kill all the bad guys and you know complete the objectives. But the selling point is the weapons. The and the warframes. The warframes are exo armor uses, and um, they're pretty much their own classes essentially. And you've got so many different ones. And you, I think there's twenty. Uh, there's twenty warframes. I want to say, and they're all. Every single one of them has four different skill sets. You've got the Mirage, the Hydroid, Zephyr, Oberon, Valkyrie. Necros, Nova, Valban, Banshee, Saren, Trinity, Volt, Ash, Nyx. You've got Ember, Frost, Excalibur, Mag, Rhino, and Loki. All of those have their own different playstyle, their own skill sets, and you can customize them with whatever weapons you want. And they even have primes, which are um, like kind of upgraded versions of certain ones. They've got Loki Prime, Rhino, Ember, Mag, Frost, and Excalibur Prime. And it's just... It's so underrated. It's on the PlayStation 4. It originally was for the PC. And it's exclusive for PlayStation 4, I believe, too, yes? Uh, I don't know if it's on Xbox uh, One or not. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm, it's not on Xbox One. It's exclusive it's, PlayStation it's 4. It's exclusive, just like Blacklight. But yep. it's underrated, and it's such a fantastic game. Because of the diversity that you can have with your play styles, you've got different kind of upgrades you can do, and it's just it's a really good game for mm -hmm. free. It's free to play, and um, I highly suggest actually looking into it. I actually um I host a I'm the leader of a clan for Warframe that has over 300 and, or almost 400 members in it, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't I didn't even do anything. I just made a clan that had like two people, and then it just bloomed. So I mean. It's it's such a good game. It's fantastic. You can make dojos, which um, is kind of pretty much like a guild hall. Uh, you can make your weapons, and it's free to play. You can buy items, but everything you can get in the game, you can grind to get, and that's one of the selling points that I love. That's I think that's fantastic. So I don't know. Hmm. I'm I played Warframe a, a a decent amount back in the day, but I I don't know. I'm I'm just not a Giant fan of the gameplay. It's it's definitely good though. It's definitely really my good. Problem, my only problem with it was the PS4 interface, like the menus and stuff. That was the same yeah, on PC, know. sir. <laughs> I wasn't really a fan really of the I whole just, uh, the planet like, interface where you have to well, choose the planet to go to the different thing. But that's it, in Destiny. Yeah, it was, it was a lot more complicated. It works better because there's Destiny. more planets. <laughs> Look, yeah. it literally, it's 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 a downgraded version of Destiny. If you really want to get to it, it kind like of is. in all honesty, it is. It's yeah. a it's a downgraded version of Destiny. But the okay. thing is, the, the difference is, you know, the ridiculous amount of diversity you can have with classes. Mm. But that's true. You also played an earlier version of it, Teddy. Yeah, it was a while. More ago. recent versions are fantastic, and they've done so much since then. Yeah, like, apparently, they've updated the combat, like the melee and mm -hmm. all that. They've updated everything, and it's, and it's great. It's a really good game. Loot system's fantastic. Works really well. Same, it's the same system that Diablo three has right now. You get your own loot. So, they uh they updated the console version with the uh the player ships. So I've been thinking about downloading it and trying again. So I, I might do that now. Maybe it's a really good game. Something to hold you over till Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> So Nate, what what you got? That that margarita there almost empty. The margarita is almost empty. That's, that looks <laughs> very <margarita>. sad. <laughs> no, um, anybody else want to play League of Legends? <laughs> okay, not, not right now. <laughs> let's, like, let's talk about no. League. I'm asking, mm. you know, just to be honest, I played one game in League today. 
I rocked it out. I was Kazakhs and I just I kicked, kicked butt, kicked ass. Okay, kicked ass, and we lost. We lost. <laughs> lost. Um, I am in League Bronze Five. I should not be in League Bronze Five. So I've decided. I think I might un- uninstall because I kind of <laughs> raged today. Because you're bad. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm not bad at all. But um, yeah. Yeah. Anybody else want to play league? The problem with <laughs> league players is they all believe they should be in a higher tier. The thing is, you've got to know why you're in bronze, and you can't just say, "Oh, I, it's my team." If you blame your team, you deserve to be in bronze. No, no, I'm not blaming my team. I'm blaming nothing. I'm just <laughs> it's, it's it's see the thing is it's the luck of the draw if you're playing on your own duel. Okay, it's the luck of the draw. Yeah. Especially nowadays, true. you have you have all the Actually, better league players are all up there already. Yeah. You know, if you don't if you if you don't shoot up there right away with them, you you'll get stuck in the bottom. Yeah. So you know that that's that's. that's... I was bronze four, and now I'm like silver four because of just grinding. Yeah, a lot of it is how and much time grinding. you put and into I, it. And I I put hours upon hours upon hours of time affair. If they had a timer on there of how many hours I've actually been on and played games. Yeah, I, I don't know. How many wins have I had? I have a ton. Hmm. I have no, a ton you don't wins. have a ton. I have a friend who got to gold one, and he has over a thousand games in rank. And, and, and great, good for him, and good for him. <laughs> that's that's the kind of that's the kind of hours you need to put in yeah, if yeah, you're that's... not automatically like Asian skilled. But I'm just I'm just saying. I think I'm. No, the league. problem with league is that it is a toxic community. Everyone, and my biggest problem with it is, is that I started playing League of Legends to win, and you're not gonna have fun if you play League to win. The best no. thing you can do is play League to have fun. Exactly, and, and 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 I do I do enjoy playing it with friends. That's the thing. Yeah. And that's the yeah. problem with ranked because everyone plays ranked to win, and you're not gonna get, you know, you're not gonna get very far if you just want to play to win. You're gonna lose and you're going to be like, fuck this game, it's the worst. I mean, yeah. it is, it has its ups and downs. It's a, it's one of the most perfectly balanced games in yeah. the history of video games because they have the whole system of this here is A. A is going to destroy you, but when A destroys you, people come up with B to counter A and that's their whole thing. And that's what they've got that perfects their thing. But the it is the most toxic community of any gaming community there is. Um, I personally have lost so many games because of people literally just disconnecting. Oh yeah, yeah. That, and, you, you, and you know, and it's, you know, it's not their internet connection either. It's of rage quitting. People yeah, rage literally quitting. will come back thirty minutes later and say, "Oh, sorry, I had pizza, and <laughs> I was talking to the pizza guy." That happened to me. I was saying, he was talking to the pizza guy, and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> That's such I, I think he was getting more than just talking to the pizza guy. Oh. Now, shit like that happened, but <laughs> it's just now, it, and I'm, I'm glad that Riot is, they're cracking down more on this, they're cracking down on more toxic players, and uh, hopefully it's going to come in a better environment. But the whole rage aspect, I'm with you there. Uh, I have the, my biggest issue is playing to win, and you got to yeah. play that game to have fun. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. So, mm-hmm. Got to not let it get to you when you lose, and just keep going. Yeah, that's why I stick with MMOs. <laughs> I really, I really do want a, a new MMO though. But you know, oh. destiny. So, <laughs> can I can I add one more thing? I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Eric, unless you want to talk. Um, <laughs> Civilization Six. I I've heard I haven't heard much about that. Actually. I heard a little bit about uh, it. Let me let me see what the exact name is here. It's like. Beyond yeah. Earth, or something. oh, Beyond Earth. Yeah, okay. Beyond. I saw something about that, and I actually am pretty excited for that. That, that last looks, I, I'm, I'm excited about Beyond Earth, but I'm I'm worried on where they're gonna take Civ after yeah. that. I, uh, you know, no, not after that. I don't care where they go. They could go all the way back to the beginning and yeah. start all over with the franchise. But I'm worried on how they're gonna keep Civ there, and Relevant. and. Because relevant, because right now, what I've seen is that they're going to be taking it like they're going to be making stuff up. It's not going to be the good old history and stuff like it that I liked. Okay, mm-hmm. I like to pick, you know, Napoleon and conquer the world, or you know, Germany, or or the United States and just be in OP. 
But yeah, Gandhi. Yeah, you could be Gandhi and conquer the world, you know. But I'm I'm worried because they're I'm I'm looking at the leaders, and they're all made up. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Sid Meier's Civilization is by 2K Games. Yep. Which is the uh, who is going to be helping produce Evolve, um, and coincide with Turtle Rock Studios, which is the creator for Left 4 Dead. Um, let's switch to Evolve real quick because Evolve. Seems like a um, it seems like something that could be like Left 4 Dead, where you can get together with your buddies and play it, and mm-hmm. just have loads of fun, ridiculous amounts. Um, I'm super hyped for it. Yeah, uh, I, is anyone I, else hyped for Evolve? I actually told I forgot about it. Evolve does look really, really good. It, it does look good. It looks so. If, for you guys that don't know, Evolve is um, it's produced by Turtle Rock Studios and 2K, uh, and Great, it's it's Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead and a whole bunch of other games. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a four versus one PvP pretty much. It's player controlled monster. One player some plays as a monster to use you know different abilities and animalistic senses to kill the human enemies. And if you're on the other team, you get to choose as you get to choose one of the four hunter classes, which is assault, trapper, medic, and support. And you got to team up to take down the beast, which is on planet Sheer, where um, Flora and Fauna act as adversary to, you know, everyone. So it's kind of like you're on a world where it wants to kill both the monster and the people, and the monster has to kill the people, and the people have to kill the monster. And it's... yeah, The gameplay just looks sure. fantastic. It, it reminds the, me the trailers. of... It reminds me of The Hidden, where it's uh, 4v1, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't except, know. That'll be... One is a giant monster yeah. that you can consume dead bodies of other monsters and grow and get even stronger. So the longer the game goes on, the stronger the big monster is. And that thing, that's just fantastic. Yeah, that... Yeah. that I think a lot of people have been worrying about it, though. Like, how long will it stay relevant? How long... It's going to be... I have I have a feeling that it's going to be the same as Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. You're going to play through, if there's a story... If there is a story, you're going to play through it. You're going to play different var- variations of PvP. And you'll come back to it every so often when you're bored. You'll yeah. come back to it and you'll play with your friends and, you know, murder people. And Nate's got a fantastic mm-hmm. view of it right there. And I believe that is the Goliath, I want to say. Yep. I think so. I mean, that's, that's one of the fire-breathing Godzilla-looking dudes. And there's yeah. another one, which is a Kraken, which is an octopus face looking thing. That's kind of exclusive. There's one that flies. To the Kraken. One is exclusive. I, I believe the Kraken is exclusive to Xbox One, though. Hmm. Huh. So nice. Thanks for that. Um, but uh, yeah, it it really does look cool. But Eric, if you were talking about like the hype dying, I just wanna I just wanna say something about hype dying yeah. because I mean it was See. delayed to 2015. But let's just think, when was the last game that the hype died for you? And if it was Watch Dogs, like Eric, Watch Dogs <laughs> is Ubisoft's fastest selling, with the most sales franchise. Yeah. Already. Uh, I mean, it didn't hurt the sales. It's not going to yeah, hurt the sales. It was a letdown, though. I don't it, think it was a letdown. I'm completely on the opposite end of that. Like, it, it just could have been a lot better. Yeah, what I'm saying is that, um, I mean, like, of course, it's, I think it's going to be a good game, and yeah. it'll be awesome for a while, but. How long will it be sustain your gameplay? Yeah, sustain yeah. your your happiness, your dopamine. For Teddy, you know, a week, but you know, yeah. for us, <laughs> at least a month. I got Rogue Legacy to play. I got freaking indies to play, man. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. But uh, <laughs> Eric, so what's your top? I think after uh, after you, Eric, I'm just gonna start the Destiny conversation. We're just gonna right. go, and that'll be the last thing in the one. Um, let's see. Um, do we do we all do we do we all hear watch Walking Dead? Oh so, yes, I'm pretty sure. Yes. What? Oh. Sean doesn't watch Walking Dead. I didn't nope. know that. It's a zombie. It's literally a zombie soap opera. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's no zombie soap opera. I want to watch that. Those two. I want to see zombies eating everyone's faces. That's all I want to see. That happens but a decent is. amount. <laughs> it does happen. I don't want to hear Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl! <laughs> I don't hear that. I just want to hear. Uh, ah! Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> you definitely hear. Definitely hear a lot of that. That's <laughs> all I want to hear, though. 100%. Uh, all right. See, there's, there's there. people. Dawn of the Dead. That's all I want to do. That's, that's, that's <laughs> zombies. That's real zombies right there. Dead Rising 3. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people complaining about one of the episodes that was. It was just 
it was just drama. There was like one zombie or something. <laughs> That's what pisses me off. And I'm fine with I, it. I, guess, I like I guess the characters. I, that, that I, I like the characters too, but you know, they said that it's going to get better. There's going to be more zombies in the next yeah. season. When does the next yeah. season come out? It's soon. It's very also, soon. speaking of it, I think it's, uh, October, probably. Yeah, October? I think it's October. Yeah. What's the dude with the crossbow's name? Daryl Dixon? Darryl. Yeah. Dixon. Yeah, that, who, what's his actor's name? What's the actor's name? Uh, Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus is going to be in Silent Hills. Yeah, it's true. Which really? looks scary as shit. Yeah. I have need to look this up right now. The new Wait, Silent Hills. Okay. Sean, have you played that PT demo on PS4? No, I'm not playing that shit because it looks scary. <laughs> yeah, I don't play it. horror games. I hear about no. it and I'm like, cool <laughs> for people that play them, I've but no. Nope. My friend, my friend is playing Outlast for me at my house on my PlayStation <laughs> 4, and I'm scary. I'm I'm jumping and screaming more than he is. So yeah, I I <laughs> freaking I had so many jump scares in The Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I would see He's something scary, move dude. on the floor and be like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's, oh, just, it's a can. It's just a can. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this Silent Hills video game? Yeah. Silent Hills. Oh, sorry. Oh, dude, no. I thought, I thought you were doing the movie. It's pretty That's fantastic. It's hyped. It's, it's really, it looks really good, though, like, yeah. for a video game. And the graphics are so fantastic. Like, it's unrealistic. It's really good. Have you seen them yourself, like, on the PS4? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not. No, no, I'm not gonna. I mean, at least <laughs> no, no, no. look at the graphic. I'm not doing it. <laughs> no, Eric here is that actually... hallway is creepy enough. <laughs> yeah, Eric here is the only one that actually plays horror I, games. I, I love being scared. So. Really avid horror game fan. So I won't, I'm almost immune to it because I play. I have played Outlast like five times now. Norman I can Reed walk through it. I can walk through it. I know where to go. I know where to do Outlast. I'm immune to, <laughs> I'm immune to Outlast now. So. Beautiful picture right there. All right, so yeah. Um, I just want to say if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, see it right now. And uh, I will be seeing it yeah, for real. I will be seeing it this weekend. This Baby week. Groot you said that is last weekend. So amazing, but <laughs> I'm not listening. Like, oh my god, just go see it. It's such a good movie. Turd Blossom, Baby Groot, <laughs> and uh, just Black Light. That's all I gotta say. It's just okay. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We can talk about it in the next podcast. Yeah, that movie was amazing. But, um, alright, so I have something I want to read to you guys. Uh oh. You have a story for us? No, it's not a story, but, uh, if you guys remember correctly, uh, Destiny released a trailer for the competitive multiplayer, and, mm -hmm. um, every now and then they would stop and they would show a game mode. And I wrote down what all the game modes are, what the the descriptions of them. And I thought we'd just review them. Think uh, mm -hmm. maybe what we're uh, what we're gonna be playing by the time it comes out. Right. So the first one that they showed off was skirmish, which in their description was a small team tactics, kill the enemy, revive teammates, three v three. Three v three. So yeah. yeah, we'll probably fire team versus fire team. Yeah, it's cool, but it's like we'll probably be playing that when um. When one of us is in here, because there's yeah. four. The whole thing with Destiny is like <laughs> most. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing with Destiny is that like, there's, the whole thing is that it's limited to three people a lot of it. Yeah. And like most of the time it's four that we have, but you know right. we'll, we'll we'll deal. We can do the four in the competitive multiplayer, you know. Yeah. The next one that they had was Rumble. Kill everything. Watch your back. So. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's free for all. Free for all. Okay. Free for all. I like Rumble. the Rumble. Okay, Rumble, um, it's actually, that name is actually from Halo. They had a, it was something Rumble, and literally, it was just like crazy weapons, rocket launchers, hammers, and stuff. Rumble Pit. And, yeah, Rumble Pit. And you just had like this crazy weapons killing everything you see. It's free-for-all, and it's just crazy. It's like free-for-all yeah. Slayer with like all the things. <laughs> all the things. And uh, the next one that they have is called Salvage. Salvage relics, kill enemy players, revive teammates. So that's probably going to be a little more uh, strategic. It's pretty much like gather resources. Yeah. yeah. That reminds me a lot of uh, Uncharted wow. 3 multiplayer. That reminds me of Loadout, um, where you had to go capture the little uh, wheelbarrows and stuff, like the little pods of energy or whatever it was in Loadout. Remember that, yeah. Nate? Yes, I do. That's probably what it's going to be like. You're going to have to get this and go take it back or something like that. It just reminds me a lot of Uncharted because of the, uh, it, it's literally relics. Whereas Uncharted, you go and you pick up a relic and you have to walk with it, like, in your hand. But, uh, There's a relic mode on, uh, AC, on Assassin's Creed, um... That is true, I forgot about that. Brotherhood. I liked it. 
I, I played the one where I played the multiplayer for Assassin's Creed was um, a lot of from three. I played a lot mm -hmm. in three. But um, what's the uh, what's the other game modes? Clash, which is all out team warfare, destroy the enemy, nice. which is how just many how many tedium. how many players are on a team? Uh, six six v six. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, combined arms, which is all out team warfare with vehicles, destroy hmm. the enemy. Oh geez, that should be interesting. Yeah, I'm. I might not play that as much as the others, just because I'm. I'm not usually a big fan of vehicles, but I'll probably get used to it. I th I think the six v six is probably going to be the most fun. That's to be totally that's definitely going to be the most popular. Other yeah. than uh, other than the last it's one, kinda which like, is kind of like you know deathmatch team deathmatch. Yeah. One thing that I'm really hoping that Bungie brings back with Destiny, and I've heard a lot of uh, interest in this as well, is uh, the game mode where you can. It's like. PVE game mode of endless waves after wave. Oh, oh yes. Yes. that'd um, be like, so cool. They have, they have it in Call of Duty. But it's like you get a, you're at the base and you have to just continuously kill all the waves. Yep. And that'd be awesome. Coming. That and I'm I really 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 hope that they'll be able to uh, integrate some kind of forge type thing like they did with Halo into Destiny for a lot of creator uh, player created content and I think that would be fabulous. I think that would be fantastic. They so have. Like, uh, like kind of like a dungeon maker forge yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, map making things, you know. Forge, yeah. That forge, was one yeah. of the highest selling points and one of the biggest uh, things that just increased the lifespan of Halo series oh, yeah. by tenfold because people can go in, use these objects to just mm -hmm. create like obstacle courses or ramps, and that's how they made like um, a lot of game modes with just ridiculous stuff. And was, yeah. I think um, that would be a good direction for them to go in. So guys, since I'm so hyped for Destiny, I have been. Um, Reading articles and lots of stuff like that, they are very much looking into that as a possibility. They they've yeah. talked about how they really want to do that. I'm it might that. it's not going to be out on launch, but they've talked about how they want to do yeah. that because they want to. No see, way it will be out on launch. Yeah, they want to right. they want to see what people can create and okay. see how long. I think it would be awesome. One thing I had a problem though with Destiny is the uh, the limitations of the um the social buttons the numpad. Uh, yeah. You were limited to wave, sit, point, and dance. Uh, there was a thing on Reddit. And uh, I think we can get the link for that. It was a um, 16 uh, options. You could double tap up and then choose from up, down, left, right, and it could be tactical, social, you know, presets. different kinds. Oh, yeah, like cool. different presets. And I think that would be a fantastic thing to have integrated into yeah. Destiny. Because I, or or they could do the the list mode, like they have in uh, what game was I playing that has list? Oh, Smite. They have that yeah, swipe. Yeah, something like that. Anything have, yeah. that would increase the capacity to be able to contact people and talk to them because if you don't do something like that, because there's no chat, you have to go out of game to talk to them. Mm -hmm. And that's just a terrible I wonder, thing. To I wonder have to if do. they're gonna put I wonder if they're gonna put some sort of other than chat in there. I don't think they're going to, but I do think other that they might chat. expand on the social options for the numpad. Okay. That that would be their simplest and best option that they could actually do. Okay. I don't know. I don't. I mean, that'd be really cool to have all those options, but at the same time, I'm perfectly fine with the simplicity. I mean, I can deal with it, and of well, and the most the course of the life of destiny. The most communication we're going to be doing is on mic. Yeah, yeah I don't. I, I don't yeah. expect to go up to someone and have a conversation with them with like emotes, even in a no. regular. But <laughs> some things I would like to do is like if I'm just going around solo, I want to you know be like, hey person and I want to actually like, communicate them because I've tried to get people and done this various times to come with me to go kill something like or mm -hmm. participate in an event or you know point out some uh, a little chest or some uh, shimmer uh, spin metal yeah I think yeah, you know? I think the thing they really want you to do is just use the R3 and, and invite them to your fire team and just go and make yeah. friends you know but uh, um, the last game mode is control which is what we were playing in beta. Capture yep. zones to increase points for every kill. That was fun. Yep, it was. Yeah. So that's it, what I think. Camping out one spot. Yeah. yeah. I think that, that the campers though, that was well that's with any game. Yeah. Control is probably gonna be the most popular, followed by TDM. Or the other way around, but it's gonna be those two. So. Yeah, it's gonna be those two. Yeah, I so excited. Oh what what I hope they, there's a there's a um, game mode in Halo called SWAT, and it was you have no shields, and you had a um, semi-automatic weapon, and it would be a headshot, 
to kill or for body shots. Mm -hmm. And it was it was very very skill based. I I, I enjoyed it a lot. So. That sounds really fun. Yeah. Like back in Halo, uh, I think it was one or two. You could um, <laughs> it was two body shots and one headshot to kill someone. Yeah, you could with a pistol with a pistol. Oh yeah. You can have like different um, in Halo back in the day. You would have like different combinations of weapons, and then like, when you get close, you hit them or something like that. So, I a lot of Destiny reminds me of that, and I hope I hope it's similar. It's yeah. Really like Destiny, man, like it's definitely one of those games that just the more you play, the well, at least the competitive part, the more you play, the better you get. So it's it's yeah, definitely going to be very very skill based, and that makes me so freaking excited because like like when we played Eric and Sean, I'm not sure about Nate. Eric and Sean were just like they got on, they were automatically leading the leaderboards, and then I had to I had to go, and just one day I had to freaking I sat down for like two hours, I just played and I focused. And then the next day I was like leading the leaderboards. So you, it just the more you play, the better you get, and that is awesome. Like, to be I'm, fair, when you I'm, led the leaderboard, we didn't try, but you know it's okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just naturally good at, I'm naturally good at first-person shooter games, so yeah. don't, don't worry about it. Nate and I, everyone here except Teddy is a naturally good gamer. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta oh. try. It's true. I gotta try and I gotta learn. And... For as long as us, Nate and I are yeah. taking the leaderboard for like the naturally best gamers because we've been gaming. We've got years on you guys. I mean, we started out yeah. young. Yeah. So. And I mean, I mean it serious. doesn't take long for me to get good at it, but no. I do have to take a little bit. And yeah, you gotta actually thing. practice a little bit. You gotta actually have to play the game. Yeah. Where Nate and I would pick it up, and we're just like, oh, <laughs> done. <laughs> you know, and to develop skill, if we want to develop skill further, we would just play a little more and yeah. just actually practice, and that would be a scary thing. So. <laughs> so that's uh. That's why I'm going to be streaming every weeknight at twitch.tv slash tbc at games. <laughs> Where you can see me getting better along with all these nuts. Shameless advertising. Yeah, Shameless. it happens. It happens. So what's, t what's the time? What, what, what do we got? Uh, we are coming close to an hour, if not past. I am pretty okay, sure so, we're past. Um, a little bit of a closing. Each of us are... Uh, we're going to have our own YouTube channels. Um, I personally don't have one yet. The other three gentlemen here do. Uh... They will be in the links below. Uh, I probably will have mine by either the next or the third podcast. Um, but we are all going to have our own individual channels to post our own content to, and we will all collaboratively post to Gamer Gents United. Yep. So that's a little bit of yeah. tidbit on that. I do, I do want to say that I'm probably not going to be uploading a bunch to YouTube. I'll, I'll try and upload some to the collaborative channel. But I'm mostly going to be focusing on streaming. Cause, Which is fine. Nate, yeah. Nate streams often yeah, as well. Yeah, because so. that'll, yeah. that'll seem super fun. It seems awesome. I'm very excited. Oh, but uh, also, one. since I'm going to be moving, we should be able to make it so that I can we can do the podcast on Sunday and then upload it literally the next day. So hopefully yeah. that's what so, we can do. This, so, what, when, do we, when, when do we plan on doing it on the podcast next? When are we plan on doing this next? I'm not we'll exactly sure. Yeah, two weeks or next week. Well, yeah. uh, well next week. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah. yeah, this has been our first pod podcast from the Gamer Jets United. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Want to go pod racing, Anakin? Let's go pod racing. <laughs> oh, here. Something else about Destiny. Uh, Sparrow oh. races and oh. uh, the ability to have, have dog races. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about the sparrow races and dog fights with your shit, so I think yeah, that would that be something that would be uh, a good petition for Bungie to do. Yeah. That would be fantastic. They don't. I know about the sparrow races. They don't plan on doing it at the moment because I read an article and they were like, uh, "Do you plan on making sparrow races?" And the guy's like, "I don't know. Do you plan on making sparrow races? Because we want to see what the community does." And it's like, "Okay." Oh, even more hype. So the thing is, I, I read that they. Are tentative about it, but yeah. they're not gonna they're they're not gonna weaponize sparrows at all because you're giving someone a free ghost and you'll never get off your vehicle. But yeah. they're mm -hmm. tentative about the races and everything. So, yeah. but that would be awesome, awesome stuff. So, closing words about the podcast. Um, I just want to say, questions for the viewers. Yeah. Put them in the con the comments below. We want to hear your questions. 
and your I don't know all your questions, <laughs> comments, and concerns. That's it. Concerns. Anything that you would like to suggestions? Anything that you think would make the podcast better? Anything you want to hear about? Uh, anything you or, want? Or, to or, or, or you just want to make fun of us? Or you yes. just want to make fun of Nate's yes. accent? You know, it's all cool. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. Um, <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so this has been a lot of fun. We'll continue this up, and uh, we didn't even get to like half of the news on our freaking That's topics, right. which is all right. But um, the the introduction kind of yeah took away a good next time. Down. Yeah, next time we won't even have the introduction. So we'll, have, be we'll have more time. Fast. Yeah, we'll have more time yeah. to talk about everything that's important. So yeah. I think that's it. Yep. Think Can we'll anyone think of anything else? No. Nope. nope. Okay. I think we'll see you guys later. I had something, but then I lost it. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> somebody, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, it's been fun, guys. Uh, we hope to see you next podcast. Yeah, we'll see you later. Thanks for joining us. Oh, also, everything that has been discussed in this video will be linked in the description below. That's important. That's what I thought about. There you okay. go. Wait, 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 ruin our closing. Bye, bye, guys. <laughs> bye, good night, everybody.